I really started uh, probably before the uh, end of year tour last year. Um, we, we talked about our, our haka and what it meant to us and uh, we got um, actually some uh, probably leading authorities really um, in um, the Māori culture to come in and, and really talk to us, uh, a group of, of players that uh, have now become the leadership group. And uh, yeah, we talked over a lot of aspects of, of the haka about um, what it actually means to, to some of the new players, um, its effectiveness. I think it, we all left there with a, probably a greater insight into, into the haka and how it really combined uh, and brought us all together, all different cultures that we have within the All Black team. As, as Tana alluded to, I think it's, uh, we talked about how it was probably a little bit of a, a burden sometimes for the All Black, um, for the boys doing the haka, just because cameras were in your face and it felt like you were doing it for the wrong reasons. Uh, once we got that understanding of uh, w- what it was about and, and that we were trying to do it for us, um, I think we, uh, the results were there on the end of year tour that the, the haka was a lot stronger and uh, we were putting a lot more into it and it was actually uh, aiding us in, in what we were trying to do. First of, all, first of all, it's not something that we've just decided at a whim to, um, to do right now. Um, it's uh, really a culmination of a lot of time and effort put in by um, a lot of people. We feel it is time. We've had it since uh, and been practising it since the Lions series. Writing a new hucker. Uh, we did a lot of research on, on the All Blacks, uh, the history of the All Blacks and... and um, the blackness of the jersey and a couple of things that haven't changed in the all-black jersey uh, in the all-black environment and uh, that's something we wanted to, to write about in, a, in our haka um, and express that out on the field and, and those things that have come through in this haka. I think the important thing of the new haka, it talks about us, uh, our time as all-blacks so for, for a guy coming in he can read over the words and, and understand it and probably relate to it as well that it's their time and you don't get a lot, a lot of time in the jersey, so you've got to cherish every moment that you have, and it's about that, doing the best you can do uh, when you pull the jersey on. It's also about the, the traditions of all black rugby, um, the black jersey, the silver fern, and uh, that's, that's also stuff that we've researched with Toy Māori and Derek Lardelli, who's uh, done a lot of work for us on, on that part and, and uh, given us a full understanding of, of um, who we are really and, and what, what it means to us. We're actually not taking away um, the old haka, kamate. We're actually adding to it. We're, we're giving it a, a mate, something to sit, someone to sit alongside it, um, hopefully, and it's something from the team that we, we, we us that uh, are here now that hopefully we have, have given it, giving it to the All Blacks for the future. We'll be uh, looking to use both hakas um, just when we feel uh, what one's appropriate for each occasion. So. Uh, we certainly respect uh, the traditions of the All Black um, of the All Black history. Uh, it's something you can't really, uh, you know, take away. It's there, and, and we're really proud of that as well. Um, and and Tana's already alluded to to that that we we're not going to take away the old haka. We're just adding to it, giving it a mate to to stand by it. And uh, I think it's important for us moving on. Though we're, we're trying to be better All Blacks, and any any little thing that we can get hold of that, that might help us, then we're looking to use that.